here. It's going to come down to tactics, I believe. And uh, Gogo setting up another base there at the uh, 6 o'clock position. It looks like 910 is also setting a base at the inner 12 o'clock position, just inside of his um, his natural, or just inside of his main, uh, towards the center of the map, that is. Um, yeah, so both players kind of staying ahead economically there. Staying ahead economically. Staying even economically is what I meant. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is on OGN, so they're making fun of... Huge battle coming down here. I think that, um, yeah, Gogo had his tank set up a little bit earlier, but 910 just has way too many forces for him. And, wow, just some nice... It looked like some nice target firing there. Took out Gogo's tanks very, very, very quickly. And uh, he's moving in to... I'm not sure why he's moving to that spot there, but um, now uh, Gogo getting a lot of pressure on him here. 910 moving a lot of tanks into his territory there, and uh, Gogo's going to get contained in, in turn here, and I'm not sure if 910 has seen that base at the 6 o'clock position or not. It looks like he set up his forces just to the right of the exit from Gogo's base, so he's going to be containing 910 instead. Uh, M uh, 910's, I'm sorry, he's going to contain Gogo instead, and I was, <laughs> I was just going to say 910's going to have dropship soon. He has dropped a few Goliaths back in Gogo's base now, and I'm sure, not sure why he only decided to do three Goliaths instead of four, but whatever. I guess that's what he had around. And now, now there's Goliath. So it looks like he picked off a few SCVs there. Now that um, Gogo's Goliaths are, are threatening, he's going to just um, move out there and, uh, yeah, get pushed back there. So 910 does have that base up and running. And uh, Gogo, wow, okay, so Gogo's going to try and float his base, uh, this new command center, over to that island. I guess he realized that he, he couldn't protect it over there because 910 had set up that blockade. Maybe 910 was hoping he'd run SCVs over there and and be able to slaughter them, but uh, so he's going to try and uh, two dropship coming in here, a couple tanks as well, and uh, um, Gogo targeting that dropship, so he's able to take out that dropship. Um, I guess he realized he didn't have the forces to really combat that at the moment, so at least he could take out those dropships and and disable uh, uh, 910's mobility there and some very very good tank play using those SCVs to full advantage as he moved in with other forces as well. Very, very, very quickly dispatching uh, 910's forces. That was I did not expect uh, uh, 910's forces to go down that quickly, but he just has a lot of forces in the middle of the map, though. A lot of forces out in the field, and Gogo is pretty much contained here. Now, it's going to be up to whether or not... Um, it, well, not completely, but it's going to be very much up to whether or not 910 spots that base on that island, because uh, it's going to be basically impossible for Gogo to defend that base right now. Um, he's going to start setting up his economy over there. It's going to start um, kicking in pretty soon, but 910 is still ahead in economy, though, because he's had that um, that uh, 12 o'clock inner base for uh, a minute or two already. Um, but yeah, but if he spots that, he'll be able to send a couple dropships over there, and Gogo will not be able to do very much about it at all. And uh, things looking very, very uh, bad for Gogo, but uh, like I said, he, things look bad for Gogo in the, some of the skins matches, but he just is a superior player in general, and just was able to outplay 910 for the most part, and, uh, and come out with a win in, in situations where he wasn't necessarily at an advantage. Um, so, you know, even though things look kind of bad for Gogo, I'm not going to count him out right now. He's got very, very good uh, Terran versus Terran um, in general. And, uh, yeah, again, just statistically... Oh, I didn't even see this! Uh, Gogo set up another base at the uh, 9 o'clock position, and 910 really needs to start scouting around and killing off those bases. There's two completely undefended command centers out in the field, which would be incredibly easy. He could send uh, a couple Goliaths to each of those spots and pretty much take take them out, and that would be a, an incredible blow to, to, to Gogo. That would be... Uh, okay, one dropship going out here. He might be going to drop that island expansion. Uh, no, he's dropping the, the non-island expansion. Uh, so that's going to get um, taken out pretty quickly here. And there's nothing that Gogo can really do about it. He's got a couple dropships, but yeah, there's there's not really a way that he can get across the map over to save that base. Uh, so that command center just going to be basically go to waste there. Um, Gogo now with three dropships, and 910 probably only has one or two at this point because his dropships got killed earlier. Uh, so uh, Gogo with a little bit of an advantage as far as mobility. He really does need to do some kind of a surgical drop on... Uh, 910 and take out some of his economy at some point here. Otherwise, I mean, he could he really easily drop some some vultures maybe behind uh, this ply line. It looks like he is going to try and go all the way around the map with his dropships and try and save that base after all. So we'll see if he, oh he's flying over. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I just saw his blotch of yellow on the mini map. I wasn't sure if it was um if it was maybe some Goliaths or something like that to could attack those dropships. 
But oh, the command center goes down. Gogo not able to save that base after all. Wow. So that command center goes down. At least he does still have that, that island expansion though. Um, but 910 now setting up more expansions as well. So uh, the, still going to have to put 910 ahead economically, I think, uh, because they are even in bases and... Um, and 910 just has not had any of his forces. Oh, very, very nicely done. Uh, dropping his Goliath out and trying to target those dropships on the run. Um, yeah, interesting. Uh, so now, <laughs> and they're probably, <laughs> I wish I knew what that was saying there. They're probably uh, making fun of 910 there a little bit. Because as I said, this is on OGN's uh, network. So uh, they're, they're going to make fun of the, the NBC player uh, a little bit here and there. And so now... Um, yeah, with 910 has that that front line. You can still see on the mini map that 910 has uh, a lot of his forces just right outside of Gogo's base, keeping him pinned in there. And so there's not much Gogo can do about those forces being dropped over there. He does have uh, an expansion set up over here now, um, and that's that's really wise of him to drop a couple Goliaths over there in a tank. That's a really smart move. Um, the Goliaths are going to hopefully keep um, keep 910 from from dropping on that spot. And he is dropping on that spot. Well, the Goliaths are distracted. He's going to be able to drop a couple tanks in there. No, two tanks, three, four tanks, five tanks, sorry, and a few Goliaths as well. So this command center is going to go down. Wow. <laughs> Gogo's Goliaths were distracted by the stupid engineering bay. And, and because of that, um, they <laughs> they couldn't target the uh, the dropships coming in. And, and a ton of forces just got dropped. All of that base... So again, things t turning around and, and things still not looking good for, for Gogo. He's got some turrets up on that base. I don't think 910 has seen that base over at the 4 o'clock spot on the island because if he had, then uh, he would have dropped it already. Uh, I'm really not sure why he hasn't checked there, honestly. He should have the comsat energy to spare for it. So things still looking kind of bad for... for any Where is this going on? 6 o'clock. So it looks like Gogo trying to take over 6 o'clock now. Um, and uh, 910 coming in for a counter drop here. Uh, he's got a few Goliaths, but that's it. Um, siege mode not quite up yet, but oh, a oh, ton of stuff popping there. And he dropped a bunch of SCVs in order to set up this base here, but uh, <laughs> they're going to have to be engaged in combat instead. It looks like uh, because of those SCVs, uh, Gogo is going to take this base here. He lost a lot of SCVs in the process, though, and Gogo is loading up another set of dropships. He's probably going to be able to take that at base out. Gogo's going to have to come back in with another force. Here's that force. He needs to go right now and drop that force on the six o'clock base if he's gonna save it um, looks like he's probably gonna be too late uh, I don't even see the dropships incoming on the minimap there so he may just be giving that up and now uh, yeah it's setting him, <laughs> trying to set up another command center and things looking very bad uh, for Gogo here I'm, I'm really quite surprised that he's getting outplayed like this um, given the fact that he outplayed 910 so badly in the skins match I, I guess it's possible that that uh, 910 practiced his butt off for this match he wanted some 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 revenge perhaps uh, for that set and so uh, it's kind of interesting to see how this turns out um, Gogo still has that island though on the, at the four o'clock island very very interesting um, still 910's economy has not been harassed at all I don't think I don't think that um, Gogo is taking out a single SCV of 910's and he's just been able to macro up a little bit more because of that and uh, as you can see on the mini map, 910 just kind of spread out, still containing him. And uh, it's going to be difficult to break that containment if Gogo wants to get out. And that's why he's kind of trying to. Oh, pretty, a little bit careless there, but he didn't even drop anything out there. Okay. So he's going to have to retreat there. I guess he was maybe hoping that, that uh, 910 had evacuated that spot. And so he's just going to sneak in an SCV. Uh, it's hard to tell. And now that base gets taken out again, the island base gets taken out again. Although he isn't, wasn't really setting up a base there. Um, but he did have a couple of Goliaths there. But yeah, so, so 910 is, has him so well contained. Gogo is just forced to try and be sneaky and kind of go around the outside and take bases and, and try, hope they're not seen. Uh, but it's just it's just not uh, not working very well. And I'm not sure how those forces got all the way over there. Oh, well, maybe I guess they were there before, weren't they? Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but... Just a little bit of harassment there. Looks like he took out one or two SCVs, but that's not gonna that's not gonna bother uh, 910 terribly. Uh, okay, counter drop going in here. Yeah, so 910 desperately trying to take these island bases here, trying to be sneaky and, and take these outside bases. It, it's kind of all he can really do because it, it'd be so difficult for him to take the center. I mean, look at all these tanks. Although there's only one Goliath, so he could easily go in and just drop some vultures on those tanks. 
and maybe it comps a lot. And uh, it's harder to. Oh! This base getting dropped again. Counter drop coming in. Both players dropping all over this island there. And uh, neither player setting up much siege mode. Just a couple tanks in siege mode for, for 910. And I think that might actually be the difference because, because those siege tanks are not surrounded by anything at all. And yeah, as soon as those tanks uh, start.